say some names, but what will I gain? I could shed some light, but I'm choosing the rain. Heartless, man, I know I'm being heartless. Man, you know you broke your promise. Rather be in the darkness. Heartless, man, I know I'm being heartless. Know I'm being heartless. Man, you know you broke your promise. Know you broke your promise. Rather be in the darkness. Rather be in a Hey, raining dark clouds. I'm hating the way they see me now. Trying to make them proud. It's getting harder just to make them smile. Welcome back to another reaction. Just got done listening to the Kendrick. Uh, not like us. Fire. Now we got the we got the response. Drake said I responded the next day. I don't know. Like this is crazy. This is like the best beef moment in history in hip hop because they are going back at it fast. And I'm like, yo, and none of the songs has missed so far for me. Like every song has been hitting, hitting, hitting. Like every song's been hitting. Now for the hard part six, the only thing I got spoiled was uh they kept saying Drake baited Kendrick Lamar with the uh the info leak about the, the daughter. Me personally, I didn't uh believe that Drake had a daughter. And the the crazy part about that the bait thing and them leaking information, I need to see receipts of that. Like I need to see Drake show me some receipts of someone telling Kendrick in a text message or something about this specific bait or leak because me personally I'm like you can look that shit up on fucking Reddit and that shit they've been talking about him having an 11 year old daughter on Reddit and they've been talking about this daughter for a long time now like this shit is not not something that's brand new and everybody's like oh my god da, 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 da. like when I heard Kendrick say I'm like yo what the fuck I'm like Drake have a daughter? I didn't know that shit because I didn't know they was talking about this. But when I did my research, I was like, oh, this shit's been a thing. I didn't even know that. So I don't know how true that Kendrick bait thing is. But uh, I think Drake is going to, I think they said Drake responds to, to that shit on this song. So I, I want to hear it. I need, I did hear it. Drake, please. I'm Team OVO. I keep telling y'all, I'm Team OVO. So I'm not biased. That's why I love this shit because I just know rap and Kendrick is a better rapper than Drake. <clears throat> no matter what you say, those are facts. One has ghost writers and we don't know what songs he ghost wrote for the rap shit. I personally, I think Drake probably wrote all his rap shit, personally. Any melody or shit though, ghost writers. Kendrick, be rapping, rapping. Lyricists. And he been sinister. He been kill. He's kicking a dead body. So Drake, fight back. At least, at least, at least. Please tell me you're winning this now, or you tied this bitch up at the bare at the least. Like just just tied up, please. Like to the point where I'm like, yeah, Kendrick got to respond to this. Because dude, I need. I just I want to see Drake like thrive. Like I need a, a timestamp Drake. So hopefully this is that because the hard part six is not a timestamp Drake. But it's a point of words for Kendrick's the hard part six. So let, let me hear what, what Drake got. Because again, the shit that I see on social media when I try to stay off is the narrative is people are still saying Drake lost. But you know what? We don't we don't get into that. Drake, the hard part six. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal Connect stand up, not far down. The ones that you're getting your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you're not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bid on the speculation. 
Dumb and reactive, nigga, I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why is it Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving hard emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you'd rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, mother I, mother I, mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. It's when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with. It's so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never know an affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why that's the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant Talk about breathing resentment Not sure how to ease the sentiment, this shit's too intimate I'm praying you recover from both incidents But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list Easy does it You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp And tell the fans who was it You thought you left D flat, D major okay. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I've never looked twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. <laughs> yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Your ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, and your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounded like you sent a commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. I wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. I promise. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some, some good exercise, like, it's good to get out, get the pen working. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though, like, you got ten more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one and try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you and bring you back to the game. Like, you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts waiting on you to return the favor like what i'm so mad oh my god i'm so mad i'm so mad i'm so mad i'm so mad you don't understand how mad i am i thought drake was about to Both of them are throwing things at the wall because I think a lot of shit that they are saying is off of what they've been reading about and shit because uh, we don't have receipts for a lot of these things. And uh, I do want to touch on one of the Drake song. I mean, one of uh, Kendrick's song. He said something about you've been molested. That's a reach because in that, in that song on Mr. Morale, uh, if you keep listening to the whole song, I've seen this tweet too. Uh, uh, 
he literally said that he did it. He didn't get molested. He was just speaking on a different perspective. So who's lying now, Drake? And then uh, uh, Drake also said uh, he's never he's never messed with an underage girl, but uh, there's a lot of shit out there. I mean, I'll give him a pass for the they brought the girl off the stage and she was 17 and when he was grinding hard a little bit and he asked how old she was she said 17 and they put her off the stage cool whatever mistake but fucking uh if you listen to fucking jaded and all that shit he even said a difference of ages but you're still a baby we know who he was talking about george smith hello Ooh, she was underage and then she turned 18 <laughs> but you know what fuck all that they both just they both just throwing shit at, and it's hitting a wall some of it's sticking some of it's not but drake God. that shit sound like he literally was waving the white flag i was wondering why someone was putting a canadian thing and then the white flag i'm like yo there's no way everybody that i know besides like maybe two people they was like yo drake uh, the two people was like Drake one, all the beta them told you, told you, told you, told you, and then my other dude was like, my other dude is just super biased to Drake. He just like, yeah, Kendrick, I don't like his style and nothing. And blah, blah, blah. Drake been up. He was like, Drake was up when Kendrick dropped all these records. And Drake and Drake only dropped Family Matters, and he still was saying Drake was up. I was like, no, we just dropped two records on How's He Still Up. No, 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 no. Now, if you want to debate him being up on this one, cool. I can't agree with that though, cause that that wasn't that wasn't it for me. That particular song was not it for me. Drake should have really that he should have responded that fast. After that, not like us shit. That shit is playing in the club. That shit is going crazy. And Kendrick was fucking rapping his ass off on that steel too, like on a fucking bop. You had him rapping on a fucking bop. And then Drake comes with this slow shit, shit that I like. I like what Drake's on this slow shit. And I was like, oh, this might be the time step vibe. But he really was just he was just on the defense for real. Like he wasn't even really saying anything about. He just said, yeah, yours is, uh, your, we fed you uh, fake info. Uh, you the, uh, all your shit slides, all my shit's true. I don't even really got to rap with you, da, 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 da. Like that, that's corny, bro. I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that at all. I thought Drake was about to bar up. Come on with it, dude. And it just sucks because I'm fucking Team OVO. Like, I'm fucking Drake, like... <laughs> Like, I knew he wasn't going to win this fucking battle, but I wanted to see greatness, and I did. I'm not going not gonna to say I didn't see it, because I've seen greatness the entire time up until this song. This song pissed me off. This song pissed me off. I definitely got to play it a couple more times to see what I missed, but, man, I like how he flipped that. I do like how they be flipping each other's lines, though, because I was going crazy over that uh, that B, uh, that minor chord uh, that he or he said, well, you got to be sharp. Like, that was that was tough. That was tough. But damn, man, I'm not fuck. I got to listen a couple more times, but I still got Kendrick winning, dude. That that song was, that song literally sounded like he was giving up. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, he just rebuttaled everything. Most of it, he didn't rebuttal in a, even in a slick way. Like, the minor chord one, he rebutted that uh, fire. But everything else was just, like, defense. Like, he was on the defense. He was just trying to clear his name and I'm like that's kind of like nah I wasn't fucking with that one I wasn't fucking with that one and then even in the the song the song about Whitney Whitney was literally in the uh, if that was, wasn't Whitney's voice then my bad but it sounded like Whitney was in the voice of uh, Kendrick's song at the end of the Mr. Morale talking about how good of a father he is and all this shit and he's proud of him so again they both they gotta show receipts of this shit <clears throat> now the day free though the day free thing though that's just interesting because i didn't know any of that that's shit, i don't even think that's out there until drake started talking about it that shit's interesting i like that i like that uh narrative dang the fake info that, again though if you show if drake shows me some receipts that they did that and kendrick ran with that then i'd be like okay now that makes things a lot more interesting it makes the ending of Meet the Grams a little, uh, like, pff, lies. I mean, they both lying, but that one, it makes it even more like, okay, like, okay. But again, though, even if if he, let's say he did that, Kendrick ran with that. Kendrick didn't say that until the third verse on Meet the Grams. The first two verses was his son and Sandra, and he was going crazy. And then the, the daughter thing, everybody was going crazy about like, oh my God, you got a daughter. And at the end of it, he was talking about him. 
and then not like us, he was talking about him being a pedophile, all this shit, da, 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 da. but a lot of this shit, you could kind of, boom, and Kendrick with the whole beating shit, like, boom, like, oh my God, it's like, I need receipts for both parties. But from what we all think we know, whether you want to believe it or don't believe it, if I believe it, if I believe everything that both of them are saying, I still got Kendrick up. If I don't believe, my, let me change that. I got Kendrick up by a little bit if I believe everything that both of them are saying. If I if I don't got no receipts and I don't believe, Kendrick is up by a lot. So like, yeah, Drake, that wasn't it. That wasn't it? I'm sorry, that was not it. I'm not gonna hold you, that was not it. I'm gonna have to keep playing the songs and see if I, they change my name, that wasn't it. I still, I still want Kendrick to drop another record though. I want Kendrick to respond to that. Kick Drake while he's down. Might as well. Fuck it. Just, <laughs> I mean, you did it with Not Like Us. And you, you say you ain't done shit. Drop today, please. Drop, drop something. Cause Drake is literally waving the white flag. Just kill him some more. I mean, Kendrick's been dogging. Fuck. Family Matters was hot too, Drake. Family Matters was fucking hot. That shit was fire. But he like, whether uh, Kendrick lied on it or not, he stepped on your record in 15 minutes, bro. And that shit made... Everybody go from this side, oh my, to leaving. So now I gotta watch everybody's podcast. Even academics said that Kendrick is still winning. I seen that too. He was talking to DJ Head, and he literally and he literally said that Kendrick is still winning. He said Kendrick's on the clock, but Kendrick is still winning. I want to say Kendrick's still on the clock too. I don't care. I don't want Kendrick dropping another record. Well, that's all my opinion for now. So. We'll see if I get back to this beef. And I'll catch you on the next time.